Hey everyone, uh, thanks for joining me today. My name is Dr. Bauer from Lapar Animal Hospital. Uh, I want to first start off by saying Happy New Year. Um, with a new year come some new ideas. The most important uh, new idea from us at Lapar Animal Hospital is the institution of uh, fear-free practice. Um, if you've been in the hospital in the past uh, couple of months, you may have noticed uh, we're playing calmer music, there's pheromone diffuser sprays to make the patient less anxious, we're a lot more uh, liberal with the uh, use of food and treats uh, when we can, and a lot of the rooms have been fitted with uh, non-slip non services for our patients to stand on during the exam. Uh, why is this so important and you know why are we doing this? In, first and foremost, it's to the benefit of our patient. Um, we want to make their experience less stressful. Uh, second is to the benefit of the pet parent. We want to make this uh, experience less stressful for you. And it's been proven to show that people are more likely to come into the, uh, to the hospital for, for smaller things like an ear infection or a bladder infection, provided they feel that their dog or cat isn't absolutely miserable by the experience. Uh, and lastly, Fear Free is important uh, for the benefit of our staff. We want to give them a, a happy and safe working environment. Uh, the benefits to the institution of the fear-free practice are reducing fear and stress and anxiety in our patients. We want to strengthen the bond between our staff and our patients as well. And lastly, it improves patient outcomes. Patients that are hospitalized who are, are not under an abundant amount of stress, they spend less time in the hospital. They tend to heal faster, have a better quality of life while they're in the hospital. Um, so those are all... Uh, big things for us. We want to actually accomplish to provide better care for our patients and better service to our clients. Um, Fear Fee is based on four big cornerstones. One, just get out in the open. Um, you know, recognize fear is a serious problem. Uh, number two is the communication between our staff and, and you, the pet parent, to, to have an honest discussion about the level of stress or fear your pet may or may not be experiencing. Third is the use of considered approach when uh, treating your patients. We'll delve into exactly what that means in the next couple of uh, video blogs coming up. And lastly is uh, the use of general control um, when handling and, and caring for our patients. Um, all these concepts we're going to go over a little bit, you know, week by week by week as the blog continues. So hopefully you'll stay tuned and you'll join me uh, next time. Thanks again. Bye-bye.